Welcome to the QuickBooks University video training series. My name is Matt Holtquist. I'm a CPA in Greenville, South Carolina. I work with a lot of businesses on setting up and working with QuickBooks in their business. And I run a website called the QuickBooks University, uh, which is at qbuniversity.org. And I wanted to put this video together to show you how to add accounts in QuickBooks. Now this would be for your chart of accounts. Okay, and, and your chart of accounts, you, where you can find that is if you go to company, the company drop down menu, there's a couple ways you can find it, but the company drop down menu, chart of accounts, or simply if you're at the home screen here, you can go to chart of accounts. Okay, now your chart of accounts is important in QuickBooks because this is a database of all the different accounts that you have to assign your expenses, your uh, assets, your checking accounts, everything you have to assign to an account. And this is, this is your, your chart of accounts is sort of like your database of where all these accounts go. Okay, so this, this listing here, this chart of accounts listing, you'll notice here, these are all the account names. Over here are the account types. Now the account types are, you have bank accounts, accounts receivable, other current assets, and on down, all these top ones down to equity represent your balance sheet. And everything below this, the income, cost of goods sold, and all your expenses represent your profit and loss statement. Okay? So what you can do when you set up QuickBooks to use for your own business, you'll find that uh, when you choose the type of business, it'll give you a sort of default chart of accounts. All right, now you can go in and change that. And there are a couple ways to do this. First of all, if you go to the chart of accounts, let's say that we notice down under the expenses that we need to add another uh, account for dues and subscriptions. And it's gonna be a sub account of dues and subscriptions. Well, you can do one of two things. One, you can right click on this screen and hit new, or you can go to account and click new here. Okay, this is gonna be, first of all, we have to say what kind of account. This is gonna be an expense account. Hit okay. The account name is gonna be, we'll just say trade dues, whatever your trade association is for your business. And then we're gonna make it a sub account of dues and subscriptions. You'll notice I just started typing and it brought up dues and subscriptions. If you don't know what subaccount it's called, you can hit the drop down box and scroll through and find the account. Okay. We hit save and close, and now we've got trade dues in our chart of accounts. Now let's say that we are entering a bill. Okay, so we go to vendors, we're entering a bill, and I'm gonna pick any vendor here. We'll, we'll just say that it's uh, Cal Telephone, and we have to put $100 in here, and we're gonna call this uh, membership dues. So you'll see that that's not in the chart of accounts, but I can type it in. If I hit tab, it's gonna ask me, it's not in the account list. Do you want to set this up? We'll hit set up and it takes us to the prompt to add an account. It's an expense account and we're going to make it a sub account of dues and subscriptions. Hit save and close. Then we'll save this bill. And you'll see now on our chart of accounts that this is now under membership dues. And if we wanted to move this, we can just highlight the little diamond there and move it down. Okay? So that's how you add an account in QuickBooks, and it's a pretty straightforward process. Okay? For, for more, for more in-depth videos, I have 37 videos on how to use QuickBooks. Uh, that go into great detail on using every aspect of QuickBooks from start to finish, plus an advanced video series.
please visit my site at qbuniversity.org.